Hello, I'm going to make a um, water run on the vacuum steel. And because I am alone doing this, um, it will be a little bit difficult to move the camera along. So I'll try to keep the camera here and hope you can get it. First thing I'm going to do is to fill fill the vacuum seal with water. This is a water run, so this is plain water. I'm opening this open, I'm closing this one, opening this one, and I'm going, going to put a little bit of water inside. So um, as I'm pouring, I'm watching the level of water inside this pipe. This is the same level of water I have here that I'm going to get here. Yeah, that should be enough. So now I'm going to close this one. And uh, we're going to pull the vacuum. I hope. Okay, now I'm going to show you. This is the vacuum board. It takes a bit of a while. So we are, yeah, we are near the the maximum vacuum that the pump can achieve, and we hear the noise of the pump is changing. Okay, should be enough. I'm closing the valve and turning off the pump. Now I'm going to uh, turn on the induction heating. As you can see, the ambient temperature is around 25 degrees. So that's also the temperature of my coolant, my coolant water. So let's turn the induction heater. So induction heating is, these devices are quite cheap now and uh, I can use the soup setting for example and uh, they allow you to control the, the power so for example this one on this device I can adjust the power from 1000 watts to uh, 2100 So let's let's keep it at 1,400. You can also set the the time, the heating time. It's very convenient. So while uh, the setup is heating, I'm going to show you a. Uh, 
few of the features of this device. The most obvious one is the side glass, but I need a little bit of a light for you to see inside. Uh, importantly, also the um, security valve. Uh, this is this is something I made myself from a check valve, so it means that it allows the pressure, it allows the vapor to go out in this direction but it doesn't allow the air to come in so what that means is uh, under vacuum no air can come in but if we are over pressure here we're gonna see some steam going out now let's go back we see our pressure uh, is moving up a little bit so that's because we have a little bit of uh, evaporation and uh, but there is still no air inside this is just water vapor so in a short while I'm going to start the the, the water condenser so let's let's start it now okay Okay, now let's. We are running 1000 watts and the boiling temperature seems to be uh, stabilized at 40 degrees. Now let's push it to the maximum. Push the power 2100 watts. Let's see how it goes. The, um, the pressure sensor uh, reacts before the temperature. You can see the pressure raising a little bit. Or not. Temperature going up a little bit. Let's try to see what's inside the. Let's try to see what's inside the, the still. Can you see something? That's a bit difficult with the camera and the reflection. So after a while, um, running at the maximum power, 2100 watts, temperature seems to stabilize at 45. Pressure, what's the pressure? Now I've been running the steel for a few minutes now and you can see there is some uh, product this is the product chamber uh, accumulating the product is accumulating and it, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, take uh, the product in fractions it means that you can do that several times during the run uh, for example in order to remove or to separate the heads uh, the four shots the heads uh, and the hearts from the tails if you're using ethanol. So to do this, usually we'd be using uh, for glassware or vacuum steel, we'd be using a, a feature called uh, a device called a cow uh, With uh, this vacuum steel, we're going to do it differently. So uh, this valve is closed. So, and now we're going to. Uh, pull some vacuum into this device which will be used to collect this liquid so let's 
plug the vacuum pump. This valve is open. Turn the vacuum pump. So as you can see, this uh, this gorge is a little bit off. So it reads much more than vacuum is possible, but. We know we now that now that this is this is under vacuum, so I can turn off this valve, then turn off the pump, and then open for product collection. And now that's it. We have collected our product. We can close it. And we can remove this to take out the product. I, I think I'll probably add a, uh, I'll probably add a, a drain here to collect the product more conveniently. It's more convenient than unscrewing this. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to um, finish the distillation and turn off the device. Uh, in that order, you just turn off the power, and then. Uh, you don't need that any anyways and then uh, we're just going to uh, open the pressure open the valves and now we're going to uh, drain the device So let's take for example this cup, I'll just open the first valve and then the second one. <laughs> 